everyone. Linda here, your personal fun stampers journey coach, and I'm here to explain to you the bloom tool and what it's used for and how much I love it. I actually have two that I use and I'll explain that in a little bit. Anyway, so fun stampers journey um, works with spellbinders as you may be aware of. And um, this tool is available through the Fun Stampers Journeys Coach, and you can follow a link down below to my blog. I have a special going on as well, if you see this video. So if you pop on over there, you'll see the special I have. Um, and this is Accessory Tool AC0073, and it'll come in this box like this. And then it'll have the tool and then a baggie of other tool ends or tips. So, first things first, how the tool works is it has two parts, and you can screw, unscrew the center, like such, and you can store little tools in there if you want. I actually keep them separate, like I said, um, I have a couple of these, actually. So, the reason why is it's easier for me to handle because of my small little hands, and also because I keep this brush over by my die cutting station. So this one, so I'm just going to screw this back on for us. So I'm going to explain this a little bit more. So on this side is a sharp point, and this is how it'll come. And it has a plastic cover to protect that. So if you take off that plastic cover, that's your paper piercer. So it's really sharp. And each side of the tool has um, where you can change the tips. And you just want to take it and push down and you'll see a ball on one of the ends and then you just take it out slide it out and then to put it back in you slide it down find the ball and this has little grooves so you'll line up with the grooves and then you just kind of put it right back where it was and of course it's a two-handed job okay like that and on this side, the same thing, it just slides on and off if you slip this down. And so how this works, I'm actually going to take this tip and remove the spatula tip, or what I call the spatula tip. And it looks just like this, it's a little spatula-like. And the great thing about this is, so when you cut your your dies, your intricate dies, or any die for that matter, this is Spellbinders S4425, and it'll you just pop it out of your paper, and then to take the paper out of the die, see how it doesn't actually come out right away? You take this little spatula tool, and you put it in between the paper and the die, and you just slide it around it. You can either hold the die up, I usually hold the die up a little bit, or you can actually just put it right on your desk as well. And then I'll pop that die right out. Nice, huh? And then that paper piercer can take those little tips out. So this wire brush, I love this by the way, it's a great invention. Thank you Cindy for inventing it for us. She's my upline. Anyway, um, so how this works is that all these little extra pieces that you have in your die, as you can see, you know how they get stuck in there? You just take this brush and you just kind of scrub it or move it back and forth. And all those little pieces pop right out. You can take better time than I am. But all your little pieces will pop right out. Isn't that neat? It's the coolest thing. <laughs> Heavens knows how many times I have had to like poke at the paper. How many times, right? Okay. <clears throat> so that's one. That's those two tips. Now I'm going to switch this out for a different tip. And I'm going to switch it out for the tip that has a, like the hook and again it has a plastic cover on it 
and that's because it has a sharp end as well. So that's sharp, so be careful. Again, slide it down. Line up your grooves with the ball and then just let it go. So it can be as short or as tall as you want it. Nice, huh? So this little hook is designed for, I'm gonna flip this over, to work with our white liner, which is AD0001. And what it does, it'll burnish the white liner tape to your paper. So this is terrible. So I just tear it with my fingers. Usually I use my thumb, but I keep breaking my nails. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we just lay the white liner tape down and you smooth it out or burnish it with the, with the smooth end. And this little hook is gonna go in there and lift up the tape backing from the adhesive. And it'll take it off just like that. Yes, I know. You're thinking, what if I don't have the journey tape? Well, first of all, you should get it. But second of all, it also works with your score tape. Oh my gosh, it's like butter. I love it, I love it, it's like butter. So the Sue Swag score tape, these are two different sizes of it. Just gonna lay, lay it down and show you. So again, you just burnish, burnish, and then the pointy end, you pick it up, and it peels right off. That's right. Isn't that the best thing ever? I love it. Okay. <laughs> that little caffeine, can you tell? Okay, so let's talk about these other tips that come on it. And to be careful, I always like to put the tips back on because I am known to poke myself. Okay, so these other tips that come with it, the spatula we discussed. So I'll move that out of the way. The um, paper piercer, we talked about that and then here are three other tips that come with it so and these are um, embossing tips or um, bald tips however you want to call them and we'll discuss those later we have a whole bunch of beautiful dyes for flowers and you make them you use these three tips to help them become 3d and that'll be in another video but another thing you can do as well is when you have your die, when you have your die like this, you can take one of the tips, line it up as such. You can take one of the tips, like the ball tip, and go like this, and it'll emboss for you. So it has like that little, I don't know if you can see it because it's tone on tone but it has a little bit of a groove to it now too, which I love. So that is the introduction to the Fun Stampers Journey Bloom tool. And again, that code is AC0073. And you can find more information on my web on my website, creativewithink.com. And I have a special going all the way through November. If you check that out, I would greatly appreciate it. And when you're there, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter where there's exclusive ideas and color combinations that are not shown on the blog for only two newsletter subscribers. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.